Hey everyone, welcome back to DSP lecture series. In this video, we are going to learn about normalized frequency of a discrete time signal. So let's get started. As discussed in the first lecture of the DSP series, a discrete time signal is obtained by the periodic sampling of a continuous time signal. This can be described by the relation x of n equal to xc of nt, where x of n is the discrete time signal obtained by taking samples of the continuous time signal xc of t at every capital T seconds. Here, the time interval between successive samples denoted by capital T is called the sampling period or sampling interval. The reciprocal of the sampling period, that is 1 by t, is equal to fs, where fs is the sampling rate or sampling frequency. The unit of sampling frequency is in hertz. Ok, so once again, the relation between time variables small t of continuous time signals and small n of discrete time signals is given by small t equal to small n into capital T which is equal to small n by capital Fs because Fs is equal to 1 by capital T. Now due to this relation there also exists a relation between frequency variables of continuous time signals and discrete time signals. Let us use capital omega to denote the angular frequency of a continuous time signal. Similarly, the angular frequency of a discrete time signal is denoted by small omega. We also know the relations capital omega equal to 2 pi into capital F where capital F is the frequency of continuous time signal in hertz or cycles per second. Similarly, we have small omega equal to 2 pi into small f where small f is the frequency of discrete time signals. We also have fs which is the sampling frequency. Now let us find the relationship between these three frequencies. To do that, consider a continuous time signal of the form xc of t equal to a cos capital omega into t plus theta. This signal is sampled with a sampling frequency fs equal to 1 by t. This gives us x of n equal to xc of n into capital T which is equal to a cos omega n into capital T plus theta or equivalently we can write equal to a cos omega n by fs plus theta because fs equal to 1 by t. Now we know that a general discrete time sinusoidal signal is expressed as x of n equal to a cos small omega into small n plus theta. Comparing these two equations we get small omega equal to capital omega by fs which is also equal to capital omega into capital T. Now substituting this relation into this equation gives us small f equal to capital F by capital fs. Here this variable small f which is the ratio of capital F and the sampling frequency Fs is called the normalized frequency or relative frequency. Now let us find out the unit of normalized frequency. We know that the unit of capital F is cycles per second. Also we know that the unit of sampling frequency Fs is samples per second. So unit of fs is samples per second. Therefore, the unit of normalized frequency small f is cycles per second divided by samples per second which is cycles per sample. Okay, 
So once again, the unit of normalized frequency is cycles per sample. So in this lecture, we learned what is normalized frequency and its unit. In the next lecture, we will learn about aliasing and sampling theorem. I hope that all the concepts that were taught in this video are clear to all of you. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comments. Either we or some other viewer will surely help you. Also, if you found this lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching Topperly and have a great day.